Taking a look at Bathurst last Wednesday and there are a few doubles including a driving double by Trent Rue. The 31 year old Rainsman won with the Bernie Hewitt trained two year old filly always on our mind and as you can see here with the pace of Wrangler Duke which Trent part owns. Down the outside now, Chingy, and also there with them, Snoop Stride, Wrangler Duke in front. He's they're coming at it everywhere, but he's got a nice lead. She's the other one in second, and down the outside, flashing home for second was Max's back, but in front on the line, Wrangler Duke will beat Max's back. There's a wall of them there for third. At Bankstown on Thursday, the Canterbury Bankstown City Council Cup was run and won by the very impressive Blower Cloud. Driven by David Morris, the former New Zealand pacer won his third race in a row on Australian soil. Macca Kelly runs into third, but down to the wire and Blower Cloud notches up the treble, goes home to score. Blower Cloud beats Ronald George. Reese Maguire's good form continued at Wagga on Friday. The Leeton Rainsman is having his best season to date, having steered 41 winners so far and added two winners at this particular meeting with Our Pretty Maid and also Drive the Dream. It's on the outside, Try Dreamin', Drive the Dream, Drive the Dream and Try Dreamin'. They're driving down to hit the line, Drive the Dream in front, Drive the Dream, Drive the Dreams beat Try Dreamin'. Kiwi expat Jack Traynor had a night he won't forget at New Newcastle last Saturday. Currently ranked as one of the leading drivers in New South Wales, Jack added to his record steering a treble after winning with Absolution, Stevie Wonder, and he completed the hat trick when Elect to Go won narrowly in the last. Is Dance Me outside, but down the straight they come. In front is Elect to Go, the favourite. Trying hard on the outside is Roll on Baby Bell. Elect to Go, Roll on Baby Bell. Elect to Go wins. Elect to Go by a King Brown and beat Roll on Baby Bell. It was the last Metropolitan meeting of the season at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Saturday night, and Riverina connections had plenty to cheer about when the Real Eagle and, as you can see here, Stenning each won a country series final. Monovay and Stenning, they settle down to fight it out. Monovay tackled by Stenning, who went on by. It's Stenning coming away from Monovay. Stenning in front, close to home, and the big prize goes to Juni. Stenning won the first of the country series final. Monovay second, third close, possibly Isle of Man. Meanwhile, also at Menangle, Trotting Mare loves to enthrall, caused a massive upset to win the Hanno Direct Group 3, while promising pacer Lombo Kota Kinabalu turned many heads with this all-the-way victory in the Group 3 Vic Frost Cup, where he rated 151.3 with a closing quarter of 26.8. And Lombo Kota Kinabalu's raced right away. It's put a gap in them. 25, 30 metres in front, and the further they go, Lombo, Cotter, Kinabalu, it gets further in front. It's in one race, the other's in a different postcode. How easy is this? Rain's woman Angela Hedges brought up a milestone when winning with the two-year-old filly I'll Be A Lady at Dubbo last Sunday. It was Angela's 100th winner and it didn't take her long to make it 101 winners as the hairdresser by trade was back in the winner's circle later in the program with promising filly Rock and Roll Angel in race seven. Think it throughs in second spot, another 25 metres further back to Tullo Stacey and then came Paltrow but an easy one for Rock and Roll Angel. Rock and Roll Angel too good, think it through second, third It'll go to tell her Stacey. Former Queensland driver Brendan Barnes ended his best season to date in style when winning with Webb Ellis at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Monday afternoon. It was Brendan's 82nd winner for the season and Webb Ellis's winning mile rate of 152.7 was the fastest of the day. Major currency sticking on second, international tough guy, and then Hooded Angel, 100 to go. It's Webb Ellis in front. It uh, leads by length the major currency, and then followed I'm a player late. Webb Ellis in front. I'm a player flashing through on the inside, but it uh, won't get there in time. It was a big day for Kerry Ann Turner at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Tuesday, with the New South Wales leading female trainer taking home a treble. Thanks to recent stable acquisitions, Saint Flash and Nimble Jack and also this impressive youngster, Al Bondi Beach. Beach and Jake Sports rider together. Al Bondi Beach, he gave a kick when he needed. Al Bondi Beach from Jake Sports rider. Al Bondi Beach, he's a half length in front from Jake Sports rider. Slice of heavens flashing home with cloud and up. Al Bondi Beach, he fell in. And that was the week that was. Thanks for watching.